Howdy and welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. Today we're going to talk about something that's very important to us banjo players. It's something that you're going to encounter very soon after you start to learn how to play the banjo and that's how to wear your picks. Today we're going to talk about how to wear them, why you should wear them, the best way to make them fit, and maybe the best type of picks to use. So um, I know that whenever I first started playing the banjo, I didn't have anybody to watch play. And I made some of the silliest mistakes you can ever make when you're trying to wear your picks. So I'd like to keep you from making those and shed a little uh, light on the subject. The first issue that I'd like to talk about is do we even need picks? I get messages all the time from folks that say, I don't play with picks, but whenever I do try to play with picks, I don't play as well and they end up hurting my fingers. In which I have to reply, I agree. When we do first start using picks, it generally is going to hurt our playing if we're used to playing without them. And it's also going to hurt our fingers. But those are things that we simply just need to get over if we're ever planning on really getting all the money's worth out of our banjo. You see, without those picks to amplify your finger strokes, you're never going to get the real true tone and volume that your banjo is built to put out. Plus, if you ever play in groups, nobody's really going to be able to hear you. That's why we've got to use these metal uh, finger picks and these plastic thumb picks. And so um, the pain that you experience whenever you first start using these picks is part of ju just part of the process. It's just like when you first start riding a horse, your butt's going to hurt you so bad you can't hardly sit down in a cushioned chair. But after a few days... You start getting used to it before long, you don't even think about it. And that's exactly what we're going to go through when we get used to wearing our picks. Let's talk about those different kind of picks. All right, guys, the first pick that I'd like to talk about is our thumb pick. There's tons of different thumb picks out there. I bet I've been through every one of them. I know a lot of you have too. But for those of you who are just getting started, it's important to find one that fits you. And I found a particular one that I like the best, and I'm going to just show it to you. It's called a Golden Gate thumb pick. That's what it looks like. And they come in different sizes. I, I personally wear a large, I believe. Maybe it's an extra large, but the key is to find one that's big enough to where it doesn't cut your circulation off in your thumb and turn the tip of your thumb blue. And the, uh, But it's not so big that it wants to spin around with you whenever you're playing. Because as we get to playing, we go faster and faster. We tend to play a little louder and a little harder. And so you want it to where you can put some pressure with that thumb pick on the strings and it not flip the, the thumb pick around your hand. I'd like to go ahead and put it on to kind of show you how far down my thumb I wear it. That's the front view, Giga Maggie's. And then the back view, like that. Okay. I see some people whenever they put the thumb pick on, it's resting right on the around the tip of their finger, maybe like that. If that's the case, it, it may have a tendency to come off. And then a lot of people might put it way down too far on their thumb. Maybe something that's not too far. But they'll put it down close to that joint and it will um, also inhibit your playing. Okay, so we want to find just a happy medium there to where it sits right in the middle of that first thumb joint. Nice and even, nice and level. And just like that. Let's move on to the finger picks. All right, let's talk about finger picks. One of the most common questions that I get about finger picks is what kind do I buy? What thickness, which brand, which style? For that, I have to say there's not a clear and concise and always correct answer for that. We need to really try them out for ourselves. And they're not that expensive. Generally, these picks run about a dollar a piece, if not less than that. So I say go buy several brands, several different sizes, and then you can try them out for yourself. You'll probably end up landing on a particular style that you like. Now, I have several different styles here, and I'd like to explain to you the difference. Um, this particular one I have right here, let's see. Here is a Dunlop. Like I said, there's several different great brands out there. I'm not endorsing one over the other. Here's a Dunlop uh, with a thickness of 0 0.018. One eight. When you buy these, especially online, you'll see the different thicknesses. And what that is, that means 18 hundredths of an inch thick is the wall of the metal. So then the bigger the number that you have, the stiffer that the pick's going to be. Now there's a couple um, good things and bad things about that. The stiffer that the pick is, the more tone it will generally draw out of your banjo and the harder you can play without the pick giving way. 
Okay, so those are good things about using a stiffer pick, something like a 0 0.02 or 0 0.022 or 0 0.025. The bigger you get, the stiffer they're going to get. However, for you new players, you may find that the really stiff and rigid picks do hurt your fingers more than the others. And especially as you go to try to mold these picks to fit your fingers, they don't come pre-fitted. So as you go to uh, start to mold them, the stiffer picks will give you a, you know, a harder time to mold those. And I'd like to go over with you right quick how to mold those to your fingers, how exactly to wear those picks to give you the best contact and the best playing possible.